mentioned it after we wrapped up our interview with Connor Punnett that we'd be now joined with Joe Connor, who is traveling across the entire United States attending sporting events. And as I've read, it's your 648th sporting event consecutively. That's right. So you have not had a day without sports in your life for 648 days. Yep. How long is that exactly? I've been living the dream since the day after the Eagles won the Super Bowl over the Patriots. So February 5th, 2018 was day one. and. Here's 648. So what was your first game that kicked this all off? It was a college basketball game at Cal Baptist University, and back then they weren't even Division One. Now they're Division One. So what's your why? What, what prompts you to do this? What are you doing? Why? Why is this happening? Sure. My passion has always been sports and travel, and my late father got me into sports. He was a smoker. He died 20 years ago, and my dad was in the Air Force. So my car I'm driving is my car, and it's a car that's wrapped in the American flag because I want people to give thanks to veterans, service members, first responders, and their families. So my car is basically a moving billboard while I pursue my passion, which is going to different sporting events. My goal by the time I'm 50 is to see a game in every Division One basketball, baseball, football, and hockey venue. In my 20s and 30s, I did all the NHL, NBA, NHL, uh, and NM NBA, MLB, and NFL. So it's just at that stage of my life, I want to meet someone at some point. <laughs> while I'm still unattached, now's the time to do it. That's so awesome. So you were doing this to raise awareness for veterans and service members who we are all so thankful for everything that they've committed to. So, Joe, how do you pick a game? Which game do you pick? And how have you found 648 of them to go to across the country? Well, it's funny you mention that. During the weekdays, a little bit harder. The great thing about this time of year is you've got hockey, you've got basketball, you've got football. And I've been to most of the OHL arenas. This was one I hadn't been to. Yesterday I was in Flint. So your opponent tonight, Ottawa, I went to a number of years ago. So. Hockey was my first sport growing up in Connecticut. My late father had seen tickets to the old Hartford Whalers. Okay. So that's part of what got me into sports. So, and I also never been to Saginaw before. So it was kind of like, well, this is a no brainer. And so I'm gonna see some more hockey tomorrow night in Grand Rapids, then some more Saturday in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. So this is my hockey fix before I start heading west back home in mid-December. Well, Joe, thank you so much for making us a part of your grand tour. Um, what's the goal for uh, the amount of goal games consecutively? I have a superstition with the number five, so I'm trying to get home at 675, which will be December 11th. Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Well, best of luck in your travels. Thank you for uh, the fun and exciting story, and I thank you for what you do for the veterans and the uh, first responders. And enjoy the rest of your trip, and enjoy Saginaw. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you. Thanks a lot. That was Joe Connor, who is traveling across the entire United States and guest Canada as well. He joined us here in Saginaw for his 648th game, just raising awareness for veterans and first responders. Thank you, Joe. Now, when we come back, Joey Botano and Art Lewis will break down the second period for you and all the action that has occurred here in Saginaw.